morning, good morning, good morning. Ehe, uh -huh. I want to talk about um, this question has been coming up on my post. This question has been coming up. I'm in Enugu currently. Uh -huh. I'm in my temple. This question has been coming up. This question about women asking me how to break courses with their period. So I want to talk about it. Please, I, I made I made that post on period and the first thing somebody asked me was how can I cause somebody with my period? Why is it that the only thing people are thinking of is negative things? Every time all you think about is how to cause somebody with your period. The same thing you use to cause, just like the same way you use your mouth to cause. You can use it to bless. That is what you don't know. So I'm going to teach this ways you can use your period to do beautiful things then after i'm going to teach married women a prayer they can be saying for their good husbands not all those are what they call husband good husband correct to look those ones that take good care of women very well those ones that know how to respect a woman mm -hmm. we need to understand that a woman's period is very powerful first of all you need to understand what forms the period this is a life force, something that is supposed to form a life. And when that life is not formed, it it's breaks down. The, the, the lining of the uterus, the egg, it, it breaks down and passes out as blood. Blood itself is a life force. Everybody that is alive has blood flowing through them. Che Christians will say, uh, okay, not, uh, let's say, uh, hey, Ojobara, Omwana, for. That blood used to mold a child. Hey, see where I made your banana snail, so I've been walking. So, that blood coming out is a life force. It has a lot in it. You can use it to break courses. But before you can be able to use your period to break course, make sure you don't have ultra. That your aura is clean. Because your blood is the core of your being. Somebody that has anemia cannot live. Somebody that has blood shortage is like the physical battery in your life. Oh, but I'm working out. Blood finish for your body, you're gone. You're not doing anything here. You're not amongst the, you're not counted amongst the living again. <laughs> Except you, you you get a blood donation. So that's how powerful it is. Make sure your aura is clean before you can use your period blood to break spell or do prayer for your husband or your child or anybody. Make sure your aura is clean. Because if your aura is not clean, then it's just like um it's just like um getting fruits, picking fruits from death, from dirty places, and you don't wash it. That fruit, instead of maybe fruits that are supposed to help you with high blood pressure or help you fight disease and you're eating it together with another disease it's going to multiply the disease you have you're going to collect more disease that's what will happen if your core is unclean if in your core you have negative energy if in your core you have oracle that is what is going to happen if in your core you have ultra that is what is going to happen so before you use your period blood to pray for your husband or pray for anybody or pray for yourself make sure that your energy is clean and clear because sometimes we attract negative energies in so many ways and then what's your anaka why do you think that the evils when they go out and come back let's wash hands Washing hand is a serious ritual. That is why Pontius Pilate, when he want to come out hand from the death of Jesus, he said that he is washing his hands off. You, you even see people say, say, I want my Pontius Pilate. Because you can get negative. Negative energy is easier to remove when it is just immediately. And when they come back, they wash their hands. When they wake up from sleep, they wash their face. They wash their hands. All these things are rituals, serious ones. That has spiritual connotations. Because 
when you sleep, what about one? You meet with so many spirits that you don't even know. So when they wake up, they wash their face, wash their hands, wash their feet, or even have a bath. That's why when they wake up, I say, they, my grandma, even if the house is not clean, she will tell you, bazes are no, no, keep bazes Because you don't know what came in while you were sleeping. You don't know what happened while you were asleep. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about your period. So I'm just giving this example. If you're, if you're tainted, just like some people that they have a try, you're going to prepare soup for yourself. It's not going to be all that effective. Because you can't give what you don't have. You can't. The plant might help you to some extent, but certain rituals where you need your essence to activate whatever it is, you can't give what you don't have. You need somebody that their own energy is clean to do that for you. So, if you want to use your period, make sure that your aura is cleansed. Make sure you're fine, you're good. You have enough positive energy to go around. You can use your period to break a spell. Now, some women, your husband started a house, maybe in the village. And the moment he started that house, everything started going wrong. Everything started going wrong for him. Maybe they've gone to bury one child there. What are you going to do? During your period, open your leg, wash that thing off, or maybe even bring your pack, wash it off. Take that water to that place. Or if you need to travel together, you go there. Without your period, urine and blood, everything mixed together, then you relate. As you relate to your speaking, whatever it is that was done on this land, that this building will not be finished, that this building will be one year, one block. That's by the woman good. And this life force you carry, you're nullifying it. And so you're relating. Because it is period that makes you, why, you're a woman because of your period. It's period that makes you, your, that your core, a man is a man because of his pen. That is your very core. As you're dropping this divine energy, this divine feminine, you're disrupting everything that is negative on this foundation. Progress. You speak. When women, when women knew who they are, when women were in power and know what they are capable of doing, with that essence flowing through them, to go there and break it. Or you have a child. You have a child. That child not getting noses basis. It is not able. It is not um um it, it, they just suddenly changed overnight. The child you know that used to be good. Suddenly they change. Maybe they start misbehaving or start acting stupid or silly or funny. This is your period. And start breaking any spell that was that was put on your child. Let it be off. Even as a woman, your period can help you with. No, this is an occultic knowledge. I'm not talking. I'm not saying this part. So that people will not go and start trying rubbish. I will only tell you the one you can do. There are certain knowledge that are hidden that I cannot put out there. You can use it to liberate your man. I will teach that prayer separate on another video. You can use it to liberate yourself too. Some are under the bondage of different things. You see that period. You put it on your hands, you speak, you're breaking, whatever it is. That is stopping your destiny from shining. That is stopping your akaraka from showing up. You're breaking it, you're liberating yourself from whatever bondage. Use it. Just sar, you beat yourself very well. Sar very well. When you're done, there are so many things, there are a lot of benefits, a lot of things you can do with it. As a woman, you can, instead of maybe using pad, sometimes use something like a napkin. Maybe if you have access to eggs, I'm not talking about those that put German floor in their compound. I'm not talking about those that put interlock in their compound. I'm talking about those that do not put concrete, anything. It is just eggs. 
take that blood, you pour it. Mother Nature, this is what we have in common. If I have even jigger on one again, this is what we have in common. Uh -huh. Some people will come and complain that I'm speaking Igbo. As I'm speaking Igbo, everything I've said in Igbo so far, I said it in English. So ignore the Igbo for Igbo people. And just take the one, the one I said in English. Mother Nature. Do you know what the woman's period is in Igbo? Do you know the period of Ogugu? Ogugu ane, mo Ogugu. It is called Osusu Ogugu. So as a man, you honor Ogugu, deity. <laughs> and then when the woman is in her period, he says she's unclean. A woman in her period is not unclean. If a woman in her period is unclean, then you as a human being, you're unclean because you're a product of that period. You're a product. When the sperm penetrates the egg, it also somehow bursts, disintegrates, turns to blood and starts taking shape and starts forming. The difference is that this one breaks by itself and then breaks down the wall of the uterus in, in a bit to escape. Since it's not the other kind of breaking that happened. Two things break the egg. Either life is forming or life is going. Two things break the egg. Before, when a chicken's egg hatch, it will break for the chick to come out. Or when it's spoiled, it will break for everything to ooze. Or maybe it will just break to dispel. So you speak, if that blood is abomination, then every human being is an abomination. You as a man, you are abomination. Man, they say, I hear that to wine. If you give a woman head, you do. That one is your own. Hey, hey, you've not given a woman head since. I'm not forcing you to go and give a woman head, though, or two. People have their different preferences. Shape, you get, that it will stop your, your, your growth, to you, 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 you eat up your wealth, or what, what, what rubbish are you people even talking about? Shape you get, you don't chop all your wealth. All those people, you don't chop all their wealth. <laughs> it's always poor people. Meanwhile, I'm not forcing you. I'm just saying we should not be unreasonable. We should not be unreasonable with certain ideologies we bring into spirituality. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. There's a lot, a lot that you need to learn, a lot that you can do. As a woman, instead of that period, if you take it outside to mother earth, if you use napkin and wash it off, you take it outside. This is what we have in common. I give back to X. It's also like stem cell to X. And in Anoba, I give back to X. And you pour the water on X. What's your bucket? Stephanie. There are women I guided on this that were not able to conceive and they conceived. That Mother Earth should give me what I say, which is a child. And I have conceived through this means. Because I know some people will not come to say if you start doing it, you will not conceive. It's a lie. Even the sperm ritual, one guy was doing the sperm ritual and he gave one, he gave one girl belly. I don't come out to tell you things that will endanger you, but things that will help your life. Things that will help you grow. I reveal spiritual things. Spiritual sides of life to you to help you. That is what I do. As a woman, when you're in your period, that is when you're most powerful. That is when you can curse and when you can bless. But go, don't go cursing anybody. Don't go, you can even, if you're cursing someone that didn't do anything to you, you will reverse against you. Because that's a pure blood of nature. That's a pure blood of nature. You can even reverse on you if that person is innocent. And it does not take action on innocent people. And it does not kill innocent people. So it will not use that blood to work against the person if the person is innocent. So not be everybody. I, there was one guy that came to me, eh, eh, one girl, and eh, she was threatening me. Said she would swear for me with her period. What did you do to her? I did not do anything. And eh, it's only that she came to my, eh, we were chatting, and she begged me for seven thousand, and I said I cannot give. I said, I said, ah, are you owing her? Are you sure you did not ask her to send me so you will send the money? She said no. They were only chatting. I said okay, then fine. Don't mind that. Nothing will happen to you. You did not do anything to her. 
So if you do not do anything to anything, nobody did it, it will not work. It will not work. Because it works with the principle, a woman's spirit works with the principle of her journey. It destroys evil and grows something good. So as a woman, when you're in your period, that is when you're most powerful. That is when you bless. Even that is when you should put more effort in your ritual. You will see that your visions are different. The very sharp. The only thing I will tell you not to do during your period is going to the water to bathe. You can go to the water and pray, but please don't pass inside the water. Like I said before, for hygienic reasons, it's not good. And again, meaning and sober. Water does not like blood. It raises things. It raises some black witches, black dark spirits, energies that are negative, that are not good. When you put blood, when blood comes in contact with water, that is what happens. So don't try doing that. Don't do that. You can go there, but don't bait inside the water. Only bait when you're free. You can bait in the water. You can enter the water and even swim it. But you can stand on earth during your period. You can stand in air during your period. You can talk to the air during your period. But please, you can talk to the water, but don't immerse yourself in it. Don't bait inside the water. If you want to bait, go to your bathroom and bait. And then you have drainage. You eat the energy. It goes back to earth. So, the next video I'm going to do, this video is becoming too long. I'm going to do a video for women. But that is after I do, I will do live video tomorrow on X elements. X elements. I will do live video on X elements tomorrow. So, after that, the next video I will record and post for you guys is about um, how women can do prayers for their husband during their period. If things are not going well for your husband, if... Um, Things are not going well for you. You can also do it for yourself. If things, if your husband is having difficulties, how you can liberate him? I'll go more detail. For in this part, I'm just trying to be general about it. So, only do it if you are sure your husband. Anyway, I'll give the warning on that video. It's just you. Otherwise, you can turn on him. Cause and he hates injustice, imbalance. Mm -hmm. So I'll elaborate on that so that you don't put someone in trouble trying to liberate him. I will elaborate on that. So if you're doing it, you have to let him know you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So you all have a wonderful day. And don't forget, um, our Thanksgiving is next tomorrow, Saturday. Mm -hmm. That Saturday. I got zero your bonami. It go well with you all. I got zero okay. Gazelle wine. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend.